My sip and stay weekend in McMinnville has been simply delicious. The downtown area has an impressive array of restaurants and I have been eating my way through town. A real standout is the Barberry Restaurant, a beautiful building that has a reputation for amazing locally sourced food. They even have a small garden out back. And today I get to go into the kitchen and watch Chef Jacob create some fabulous dishes. All right, so we are doing our strawberry salad right now. And uh, so everything from this is made in the valley or grown in the valley. And so we have a Little Gem Romaine uh, from Evenpool Farms and uh, strawberries from Munoz Farm in Dayton. Uh, we have Briar Rose Goat Feta and we have some Freddy Guys Hazelnuts. So the vinaigrette that we make with this one is the strawberry and sherry mints. We actually puree the strawberries with the sherry vinegar. All right, so for our first course, we've got our strawberry salad. Uh, the smell off of this is really fresh. I can smell lots of strawberry. You gotta get all the little good stuff. Mmm, oh boy. Mmm. <laughs> it's delicious. It's really light, perfect amount of salt, cheese, and hazelnut. And a strawberry just finishes off a little bit of sweetness. That's a wonderful salad. Now we're going to be cooking our salmon dish we have on the menu right now. Uh, we focus around a lot of farm fresh produce and so we just actually did a big menu change. Uh, we got the season's first heirloom tomatoes and the first run of wild king salmon. We go skin side down and give it a little bit of a press there so it gets that nice sear on the bottom. And so we've got these really awesome early girl tomatoes from Supernatural Farm. And our housemaid Kakasha Christine is here, little croutons. And we have some micro basil from Evenpool. Really pungent flavor on all their micro grains. And we're gonna dress it with a little red wine vinaigrette, a little pinch of salt. And so we have baby funnel from Evenpool as well. Alright, salmon's ready to flip. And we like to cook our salmon here, uh, medium to medium rare. Our salmon's gonna go right on top there. And then finish it off with some fava bean tops from our garden. And that is our salmon dish. So here's our salmon dish we're running in the restaurant right now. It is a wild Alaskan salmon. It's Copper River King. Uh, we are doing a panzanella salad with fresh heirloom tomatoes and focaccia croutons uh, that we're making in-house. Some baby fennel from Even Pole Farm, a red wine vinaigrette, and those are fava bean tops from our garden. Ooh, it's so juicy and so tender. Per cooked perfectly the way I like it. Medium rare. Mm. The crispy skin on the bottom and mm, the salt, perfect. And we're also going to plate up our duck entree that we have. All right, so this is a wild huckleberry sauce and some beluga lentils. Uh, the duck is actually being processed in Dayton, Oregon. Uh, it's grown locally, raised locally. And uh, these carrots are from Supernatural Farms. And the huckleberries are being found right here in the valley as well. And we're going to garnish that guy with some uh, micro clover from Evenpool Farm. And there is our duck dish. And we've actually cold smoked the duck breast as well. So we bought a cold smoker and so that we can actually smoke the duck without cooking it. All right, and there is our duck breast entree. So we're doing a cold smoked duck breast. The duck breast is uh, local. It's coming out of Dayton, Oregon. Uh, wild huckleberry sauce black lentils and uh, baby carrots from Supernatural Farm. And then we're garnishing with a little bit of uh, micro clover it's from Even Pole. It's a piece of art. Little micro greens, aren't they cute? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. And the sauce is amazing. Mmm. Really fresh. Very nice. Very elegant. Another interesting fact is that parts of the restaurant are made using reclaimed wood. Yeah, so the reclaimed wood, I actually talked to Dustin a while back, there was a building that was here for many years and apparently when they tore it down to build uh, this building, they were all the floor joists. And so nobody even saw the wood from the outside or even inside of the building. Um, so then when they ripped up the floor, there's all this really old wood. And so they decided to hold on to it. There's still a barn full of about half of the building. Um, yeah, and then we've worked it into a lot of the tables. Some of the more family-style tables in the wine village are all made out of the reclaimed wood as well as the cabinetry. Well, that was beyond delicious and the perfect way to end my day of wine tasting. I'll be discovering more culinary and viticultural delights as my sip and stay adventure continues.